all right what's up youtube this is gonna be a today today is gonna be a post commentary because i tried to record but it just wasn't working i couldn't i, I really did, couldn't get nothing across and i was jumbling and stuff but i'm gonna try to do better in the post commentary but anyways if you're new welcome i play zombies predominantly this is probably the only thing or one of the only things you're going to see on this channel from or now on but I'm just a zombie duelist. I'm just basically trying to go through the deck and uh, basically just perfect it. Um, what can I say? Uh, this build right here is uh, I call it the um, well, I don't want to, I don't call it anything, but this build right here is um, is a more basically consistent version with you know upstarts and pots. Uh, a uh, subscriber had uh, mentioned it so I was like alright you know what I'm gonna build it and I'm playing right now on the salvation server so I mean yes I'm testing new cards too I was trying to do a card review of the new card but all the replays I, I don't know what's going on but the replays just stop when you special summon from the graveyard do not know why I don't know what causes it it just stops when it comes like it just stops when you uh when you try to when you when it when you during a replay that you try to special something from the graveyard basically and they don't know how to fix it so I mean that's twenty to twenty five replays pretty much in the trash because I can't can't even I can't even watch them fully. But uh I don't know if you I'm pretty sure you guys did hear about it, but it's the new Yu Tao or Yao Tao or however you say it cards. Yeah, it's that it's it's a tuner and it's a synchro. While I do not like the synchro because it really doesn't do anything that much, the tuner I'm really starting to come around to. Um, but uh, I can basically just give my review of the card. Uh, from from what I've used, it it's a great card because it's a plus one and it it's just straight from the graveyard and you don't have to use basically nothing. All you have to do is put it in the graveyard. That's good. Uh, you do have to wait a turn. Because it, it, you cannot use it, the same turn is sent to the graveyard. So that's the probably only that's the only thing that's really bad about the card. I mean, getting into the graveyard and without basically stopping or hurting your plays, that's pretty much the only thing. I mean, yeah, you can ditch it with like a Phoenix Wing Blast or a Zombie Master or something, but still, it's like you know sometimes it. it, it like if I ditch it with unit zombie, I can't really do anything with it. As you see, I just lost connection right there. Uh, I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know, man. The salvation is, this is. I've been on it for like the past week and a half, and it's just, it's just been crazy. Even though it, it, it is enjoyable, and I do, I do like how they got the new cards, but it's just, it's just a lot, a lot of bugs. But you know, I'm trekking through, I'm trekking through it so I can get these videos out. But um, <clears throat> yeah, like I was saying, uh, what was Owen? Uh, what was I saying? I think I was talking about uh, uh oh yeah, the, the 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 tuner. Um, yeah, the the tuner is good. I mean, like I was I already said that it you know it's a plus one. Oh yeah, the only thing bad is just you can't be used during the same time you go to grave. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, when uh when you if you send it with unit zombie, it's like I mean, it doesn't really do anything. It just, it's not like a Mizuki or nothing. You know, it doesn't get none of your players started. That's pretty much the only thing that's bad about it. And is, <clears throat> you see there that, if you see right now, um, I potted while into a soul transition, which is, is, is so amazing. And so I, I really don't know why I wasn't running like no other draw cards, but it's like, I mean, besides the Lord, but like basically to make the deck more consistent because I potted the while into a soul transition. And then look at that. I'm already I'm already at I'm I'm at seven, pretty much I'm at seven right now just going off and I haven't lost like a I didn't lose anything or nothing like that so yeah the, I've been playing with the LeBron uh, uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna call it well that's his name LeBron Jeremy but I've been playing with basically <clears throat> I call it the LeBron build because it, that's when I use the Potter Wiles and Upstarts and it's really been working very well because I'm I'm drawn into the cards I actually need instead of drawing like cards like to basically it just it just makes the more deck more consistent 
that's the best way I can put it. Like he said, it's just it's just a way more consistent deck with the Potterwali and the um, upstarts. So that's a good, very good. I really appreciate that, and thank you to if you're watching, man. Thank you because it really helps the deck out. It's, it it really gets it to his combos very more faster than it already has. But um, <clears throat> as you guys can see, I am playing Eradicator. Uh, I'm playing Eradicator because I can. I even though I I can make I can get his targets pretty easy. I can go to a Bezel or I can go to a Zombie Stein, and pretty much have it on board. So the card is really never dead. And it's 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 real good when you know, I just, I just need something to stop all these traps and all these spells and stuff. And you can get it off first turn if you just if you have the right combo piece, you can get it off first turn. You know, so it's a good tech and it's, it's been working out pretty good. As you can see, I I, w I wish that I could have fought through all this. I mean, I wish I would have had a, a, a level eight already on board. But playing some Teller Knights and you know, some Teller Knights is just a back row dot deck. But um. Anyways, on to the uh, the other card that came out. It's a Synchro, and it's a level 6 zombie tuner and non, and another zombie type. Uh, that card is okay. It's decent. I mean, the effect to put back in the deck is alright. I mean, it doesn't really help. It doesn't really help as good as Omega, or uh, as good as it. Like, I don't understand why that couldn't return to the grave. You know what I mean? Like, return a zombie to the grave. It would be specific enough only for zombies. And it wasn't pretty much like Omega is just a generic good fucking card. Like you can return anything to the grave, and it's like that's amazing. Like at least the level six could have put it back in the grave, but I understand that they were thinking, okay, well, if you if you make it a zombie card that puts stuff back in the grave, then you're pretty much it's just gonna be on Mizuki all the time. So I understand like the reason behind it, but I'm just saying, hey, we could we could have had something, but. The effect to put it back in the deck and to change everything lower than its attack to the, to um to defense is pretty good. Uh, yeah, that, that that that's good. I mean, the card to me, I'll say I'll give it a uh, um I would say right now. Oh yeah, and the second effect of his banish, you know, your opponent loses five hundred attack, which is retarded. But uh, I, right now I would give it probably. I don't want to be too harsh because it's, it's it's decent. I'll give it a two out of five. That's the best I can give it. Um, it could be a lot. Of, it, I mean, the card is good for what it is, but besides that, it doesn't really do anything. And then for the for the card you actually see on board, right? I mean, the card that you just seen. That card, I would give that. Uh, I give it like a three point two out of five. It's it's basically pending because the other the oh yeah that's what i also want to talk about uh the synchro second effect is pretty much gives me hope because it has a banish effect and the tuner has a banish effect so that tells me that if the tuner says i have to go into a level eight zombie and that car activates i mean it also does stuff when it's when it gets banished it kind of let hints at we're getting a level eight zombie. Finally, we're getting some more fucking zombie synchros. I mean, I I, I don't want to really get my hopes too up, but that's what it looks like. Like, why do, why would you put why would you like if you look at the two cards? I mean, they both they basically work in synergy, and it's like oh okay, I see I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Konami or whoever made this goddamn card. I see what you did there because. Is clearly hinting at a level eight zombie, and I can't wait for that to be revealed. I'm waiting right now to. I don't even know if it's revealed now. I really haven't been checking, but if it's revealed right now, then I mean, I'm definitely going to be testing that out. But uh, yeah, that that's pretty much the only good things going for the synchro is that it did it did it, it, to me. It seems like it's just a prelude to a level eight zombie, which I can't wait for. Because I know it's going to be... I hope it's amazing. I hope that it's amazing. Like, whenever it's summoned, you just return two zombies or you send two zombies. Like, there's something stupid. I hope... Not, not stupid, but you know what I mean. Stupid good. So... But, yeah. But, um... Besides that, like, the tuner is it's decent. See, like, right here, I can just basically bring out any level six. Which is amazing because I can go Doom Kaiser Dragon 
with Zombie World, Doom Cloud Dragon goes into anything. I can go into Revive King, and with Zombie World, Revive King just negates everything, which is good. But I, I, I'm not understanding. When I use... I understand Revive King doesn't say the graveyard, but, I mean, it pretty much basically has to because it doesn't negate pendulum effects. But, like, on the card, it just says destroy by battle. So, I don't know if that's a ruling thing at the time or whatever, but, I mean, it, it doesn't negate anything besides it going to the grave. So, I mean, at, at, I believe it says when it's destroyed by battle by a zombie type monster and then I guess it's negated but it doesn't negate it doesn't negate a pendulum or it does not negate the graveyard so I mean that's that but you see like on like right here I couldn't use the effect and it's not like it wasn't I guess a valid target is because I guess it's still bugs and salvation with the card I mean I could have uh what what I, I've used it a couple times but it's like it's, it's supposed to be on both players turn which is good like it that it, it's like i said man it just leaves a lot to desire i'm just basically waiting for level eight that they're showing they're basically telling us we're gonna have but you know i don't know but yeah like you see i'm just going around because it's like this crazy ass board right quick i mean right here and what's the good thing about it is with double omega i can keep returning the tuning to the grave so that means that's just that means that's just extra what's the name that means that's just uh, extra, just keep returning it back to the grave, and then I just keep basically synchro on every turn. But yeah, that'll be, do it about it. Uh, that's the end of this duel, and I will be back tomorrow with, I mean, uh, yeah, tomorrow with another commentary. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and click it out if you want to help support the channel, and I am out.